This next series of exercises is designed to work on the sides of your body and is really great for creating extra movement and mobility in your upper and lower back, your shoulders and your pelvis in those hips, areas which can get really, really tight. And if we create movement there, we'll usually allow you to work with less stiffness, less soreness and more ease. So let's go ahead and come down to lying on your side. You can pop your head down onto one arm just to get yourself set up. And then we're going to take this top hand out in front, legs roughly 90 degrees. So knees in line with your hips, knees in line with your ankles. And we're just going to slide that top arm forwards on the floor so that it rotates your body towards the floor. And then slide it back. And as I reach my arm forward, I'm going to allow my legs to slide over and back on each other so my top knee rolls forward as my arm goes forward my top knee rolls back as my arm goes back reach and return for three and two and we're going to do that one more time and then come back i'm going to pick my arm off the floor pick my leg up and same thing roll forwards and back this is slightly more advanced so if you want to drop everything back down to the floor, go for it. Let's do one more. Reach and release. Drop the leg. We're going to take that underneath arm out in front on the floor, opposite hand to it. We're going to lift the arm to the ceiling. Keep looking at your fingertips as you open out behind you. Pick the arm up and roll the body back around. Again. Lift. Allow the legs to rotate with the arm and reach. Lift and back. We're going to do that two more times. Lift and reach. Lift and come back once more. And reach and over and return. Take the bottom arm under your head again to cushion top hand to the floor. We're going to lift this bottom top leg up and lower it down. And as that leg lifts, the opposite leg is going to sink through the floor. Go for four. We're going to do three more. Let's do two. Really good. Last one, lift and hold. Start to circle the leg. And again, it doesn't need to look like any kind of a perfect circle. Just creating a little bit of movement. Let's do one more. And then I'm reversing it up and over. Keep a little bit more length in that lower back. So almost like you're rounding the lower back into the movement. Last one. And pause. I'm going to reach the leg all the way up to the edge of the mat. And then bend it in. So I open the front of the hip and return. Go for four. This is going to really help to strengthen out those side hips as well. Last two. Press. And reach and last one, hold it out here. We're going to lower the leg and lift and to the floor. Really good. So we start to squeeze the inner thigh, really resisting the air as that leg comes down. Two more, press and lift. Last one, press, hold it up, circle four, circle three, circle two. And one, reverse, absolutely fine if you're starting to feel it in that hip. Good, let's do two more. One more and hold, bend the knee back down. Take your time. We're going to press all the way up to seated. Whatever leg was on top is now going to come behind. So we're sitting in this 90-90 degree angle. I'm going to spin slightly so you get a better look. One leg in front and one leg behind. If this isn't comfortable for you, go ahead and sit up on a cushion. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Whatever leg is in front, that same hand comes to the mat. And we're going to reach into a big side bend. Allow that elbow to bend towards the floor as you reach. And lift. Two more like this. Reach. And lift. Once more. Reach. And lift. Then that hand's going to come to the floor. And we're going to side bend in the other direction. Up. So really mobilizing the ribs. Allowing for a lot more freedom in that rib cage and in that upper back. Press it away. Good. Last one. Over. And come all the way up. Now this next bit might feel a little bit more challenging. Take your time. I'm going to spin so you can see. 
I'm gonna glue my back foot to the mat, big toe and heel stay down, and then I roll my thigh bone around so the knee lifts. And then I roll the thigh bone back, roll the thigh bone. Now, my ribcage wants to move with it, and I'm gonna let it. This is all about creating extra movement. Good, let's do two more. Roll. And then one more. Really good. Come down. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to stick my knee to the floor. I'm going to roll my thigh bone forwards and pick my foot off the floor. And down. Now your foot mightn't come very high up. That's absolutely fine. You might feel a little bit of a pinch in that side of your hip. That is absolutely fine. Let's do that two more times. Roll and release. Excellent. Last one. Roll and release. Now I'm going to pick that whole leg up. You take your hands to the mat as much as you need to, and I'm going to sit that leg in front, that foot to the floor. Lift and sit back. Good. Lift and around. Lift and back. So we're working through internal and external rotation of the hip. That's what's going on here, and that's so beneficial to that hip joint. Good. Once more. Reach. Really good. And over. Excellent. When you're ready, relax it, and let's come down to that opposite side. So, legs 90 degrees, knees jacked, hips and knees in line, ankles and knees in line, take the head down on that bottom arm, arm top hand comes onto the floor. And you're gonna slide the hand to rotate the rib cage, and take it back, and slide to reach. Good, so good for just creating a little bit more freedom in those shoulders. For just massaging out those lower ribs on the mat. Let's do two and take it back. Good. Move one and take it back. And then I'm going to take that bottom arm out, top hand on top of it, and everything slides and back and slides and back. Let's do two more. You're welcome to keep your head under your hand for this if that feels better to you. One more. And back, and then find the center. Lift the arm and the leg, slide forward, and back. Let's do three, and back. Really good. Two more. Nice and soft in the breath. Last one, and take it back. And then return hand to hand, knee to knee, foot to foot. I'm going to pick my top hand up, rotate the body around and open. Arm lift. Roll around and reach and again. Up, rotate, open and stretch. You're going to keep looking at your fingertips. Take your time through the movements. <coughs> well, let's do that one more time. Lift, reach and over. Lift, reach and back. I'm going to take my, hand, my arm back under my head, hand to the mat. And we're going to lift that top leg up and lower it down. And again, lift and lower. Picking it up. Good. A little round in that low back now. Stretching it out. Last one. Hold it up. And go ahead and circle. Again, don't worry too much about what that circle looks like. Think about allowing that bottom leg to just drop through the floor. Easy slide. Good. Let's do two. And once more. Excellent. Reverse. Over and around. Over and around. Just getting movement through that hip. Easy. If you're feeling any clicking or clunking or popping, make that movement a little smaller. Let's do one more. Good. Go ahead and pause. Send the leg out. Open space in the front of that hip. And then return the knee back to the chest. And the leg reaches and returns. We're going to go for four. And take it back. And three, and roll it back in. Really good. Two more. Reach and back. Last one. Hold it. Start to lower the leg. We're going to press it down through the air and up. Feel the resistance of the air. You're going to create some of that here. That's going to help you to really strengthen those inner thigh muscles. Again, so important for creating balance in that hip, taking the pressure off. Last two and up. Last one. Leg comes up and circle. And circle. Great for three, for two, and one. 
and reverse and up for four, for three, for two, and one. Take your time, we're gonna lower the leg and you're gonna press yourself all the way up to seat again into that 90, 90 degree angle. Whatever leg is in front, hand comes to the mat. We're gonna reach into that beautiful side bend and press up. Making sure that this hand that's on the mat isn't too close to you. Let it reach. Elbow softens towards the mat. Ribs open. And come back once more. Reach. And come back. Now let's add. We're going to go over, up, and other side. Reach. And big reach. Good. Think about just sliding the ribs. One over each other. Last two. Really nice. Last one. And take it back. We're going to take this knee now. Glue the back foot. Let me spin a little to you. Back foot glues to the floor. Big toe and heel. And then we're going to roll the thigh bone around. So imagining the ball of that thigh bone rolling in that hip socket. And then we return it to the floor. And we roll and return. So instead of it being a big knee lift, it's a slide around and a slide back down. We're going to go three and only lifting that knee as high as we can maintain the foot to the floor and that connection. Well done. Last one and then we're going to reverse it. Thigh bone goes forwards, foot lifts, knee drops. Return. Roll and return for three. These are looking really great guys, well done. Two, good. Last one, excellent. Pause it, and then when you're ready, we're gonna lift the foot and the knee together and come around. Lift the foot and the knee and come back. This is, it doesn't look like much, but I'm sure some of you are feeling a lot. This is something that I use a lot in my rehab setting. Up around and back, using your hands to support you on the mat. Last two, good. And come all the way back. And last one. And come all the way back. Take your time from here. And you go ahead, come to knee leg on the mat. Press the hands down, press the knees down. We're gonna round the back, tuck the tail, send your breast bone right up between your shoulder blades to the seat. And then release to neutral. We're going to do that two more times. Round. And come back through neutral. Last round. Come back through neutral. And go ahead and let yourself relax. Very nice. Well done. I hope that felt a little bit easier towards the end than it did at the beginning. It is so normal for some of those hips on the side to start to feel a little burny, a little achy as you work through that series. This is so good for your hips and it's great for that rib cage and that shoulder mobility as well. So do this as often as you like. As always, please contact me, hello at flexinthecity.ie with any questions. And I look forward to seeing you for your next movement sequence.